Hey guys, this is KJ48, and welcome back to my Savage Lands Let's Play. We're going to be starting a new season today. We're going to be starting Season 2. This is going to be Episode 1, and the reason we're starting a new season is because there's been an update. Um, they've actually released a patch to fix some of the bugs they've introduced in the update uh, since they've done the update, and the update came out like last night. But, um, you know, this is version 2.6, uh, which is the big update, and 2.7 was just some bug fixes. So if you're looking it up, it was 2.6 was the uh, version that was the big update. And while well, you might be asking, well, what is this big update about? Well, this big update is awesome. Okay, first of all, they fixed an issue with torches not providing heat. So that was really nice, because, like, like torches not providing heat was a major concern for me, personally. Uh, they've made it so trees and bushes have a chance to drop berries and nuts when chopped. So that's food source. Beautiful. Uh, torch duration increased by 50%. Player base sprint time increased from 15 to 20 seconds. I thought that that happened uh, earlier in a different update, but maybe it didn't. Um, text has been updated for buildings in the player journal. Revamped fences and props in Argo. Uh, craft campfires can now be relit and also can be refueled when active. Um, recipe components for common and uncommon armor have been rebalanced. Um, the, the creatures, deer's health has been reduced, making them easier to kill with starting weapons. Female deer's health reduced by 10%. Dire wolf bear, bear um, health reduced by 20%. Dire bear bite and claw death. Okay, basically they just reduced the, all the damage that, the, that everything in the game does and increases, uh, and it also increases the amount of damage that they take. Uh, the skeletons take more damage and they, they deal less. Uh... Then we got some equipment. Uh, they've removed decay from boots while sprinting. I thought that was something they introduced in another update, but I guess not. Um, weapon durability for all, com all common and uncommon weapons increased by 40%. Weapon durability for rare weapons increases. I mean, it's just it's just insane. They've just increased everything. They've increased the durability of like all the weapons, and it's been really cool. Uh, yeah, so those are the major parts of the update, so let's get started. We are going to start a new game, hence the new season, so let's start a new character. Cage, capital, cage, A48. And a new game. Season, no. Get rid of that time. Season two. <clears throat> See, I'm really excited about this. Um, they've taken out the frustrating parts of the game. Some people might say they've made the game a little bit easier. Uh, for me personally, from a Let's Player standpoint, I love the changes. Um, yeah, they've made the game a little bit easier, but I think in a good way. I think it's more reasonable now. And, um, oh, look at this, early access build. Uh, it tells you what to do. That's pretty cool. Gives you a little bit of things on the right-hand side. Apparently, you don't start with anything. Or maybe you do when everything's on the ground. Okay, so you do start with stuff and it's all on the ground. That's kind of odd. All right, so let's see. So we got the axe. We got, okay. So they started us with all the major things. Um, oh, look, there's more stuff on the ground. All right, guys, when you start the game, don't forget to take stuff off, on, off the ground. Alright, we're also going to go ahead and make some basic bandages right off the bat. Put those right there. Game sounds a little loud. Give me a sec. Okay, let's see if that's any better. Alright, so uh, let's go ahead and pick up some stones. Let's chop down some of these things and we see if we can get some berries. Am I too close? There we go. I was too close. Come on, give me some berries. I want some nuts and berries and stuff. Come on, man. Ah, oh, just a bunch of wood. No nuts or berries. Okay, I'm sure we'll get some eventually. Um, so we need to find a place that we want to live. I really want to get some nuts and berries. I wonder if it's like a rare drop or something, because I'm surprised I haven't gotten one by now. Maybe those are the wrong bushes. I don't know. They look like bushes to me. Alright, yeah, so we got early access build on the right-hand side. We got a bunch of, like, it looks like quest journal stuff, which is pretty interesting. So, build the campfire. Yeah, I got that. We're gonna find a place to live first. Alright, I'm not sure which way I want to go to find some place to live. You know what, let's go this way. I think I actually want to go this way. Uh, for those of you who are just watching this uh, game for the first time, you could probably go back and check um, some of my older videos that I made for this game. Um, I made a season one that went up to four episodes, shows you interesting things. Um, <clears throat> and uh, this is like one of the major updates. Anytime there's a major update, I'll usually uh, start a new season. Sometimes I won't, but usually I will. Let me see what I got. Yeah, I got enough room. So, uh, yeah, so this game is an open world 
uh, survival game set in medieval times. Kind of reminds me a little bit of Skyrim. Um, except, well, just in the looks and the fact that it's cold. Nothing else really is like Skyrim. But, um, I don't know. It still has enough of that Skyrim feel for me. Let's see. Stick. There we go. Berries. Frostberries. I've been told that the frostberries are the only items in the game that can uh, cure disease. I don't know if that's the case anymore, but I'm not going to eat them until I have to. Um, hopefully I won't have to eat them. There's like uh, all kinds of enemies in this game. There's skeletons, there's wolves, there's dire wolves, there's like um, there's like a plague wolf or something that can like uh, give you get you diseased. Uh, it's insane. There's actually a dragon too, but you can't get to the dragon just yet. Um, there's a, and look at the top left hand side of the screen, there's three meters up there, blue, red, and yellow. The blue one is my, um, like my cold meter. Um, you, I get cold as the game goes on and I need campfires and torches and stuff to warm me up. Uh, eating also warms you up. And then there's the health meter and then the one below that is your, uh, food meter or stamina. Although the stamina one doesn't go down as you sprint, so I don't know if it's really a stamina meter. It's kind of a stamina meter, but... I feel like a stamina meter would be used when you're sprinting and be recharged, but it's more of a food meter in my book. Alright, more berries. So I guess these are the things we want to cut up for the berries. Yeah, lots of berries. Cool. Can't imagine berries are going to give me a lot of nu nutri uh, nutrition, nutrients, whatever you want to call it. But, um, you know, it's something. It was easy to get. Um, this is the outside of the island. This island's like really, really big. Um, I usually just stay on the beach. And then eventually I will, like, kind of go towards the inside of the island. But I'm looking for a place to build my house. Um, I kind of want to build it by a campfire. There's, like, campfires and some little, like, uh, buildings in the game here and there on the beach. As well as inland. There's, like, villages and towns and stuff inland. Um, you know, deserted. But there is some nice stuff there you can loot. But I want to find one of the campfires on the beach because they have stuff that spawns at them. Like, you'll go to a campfire and you'll find some, like, maybe some food. Or, uh, you know, some uh, some flint. And the cool thing about them, at least up until this update, is they respawn. So if you live at that campfire, you're always going to have stuff respawning for you. So that's what I want to do. But I'm not seeing one. And honestly, I don't recognize the area that well. I wonder if they took them out. I thought this was the area where there should be a campfire. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be a campfire around here. Like, right over here. I wonder if they took it out. Because that little, uh, up there, it looks very familiar. Oh. No. No, thought I saw something. Up there, it looks very familiar. But, I'm not seeing the campfire that should be down here. I don't know if they took them out. I thought if they took them out, they would have, uh, said something in the patch notes. So... You really shouldn't wander for too long, but I want to find a really nice place to hold up. Hmm. Yeah, we'll look around. Why not? Screw it. If we die, we'll just start over. One thing I... Oh, this looks interesting. Okay, I'm back. I actually, um... Got pretty lost <laughs> while looking for what I was looking for, and, um, I... You know, couldn't find it, so I actually started a new character. To try and get in a better spot. I do recognize this area. You can see right there a campfire. You can relight it if you like. I could start here. But I'm not going to because... Well, probably would be a good place to start. But I'm not going to because I'm still looking for that campfire spot. Uh, basically, there's a village. Okay? And it's the village where, where it's close to the dragon roost. Now, the dragon has like this big tower he sits on. And you can't get, you can't get up the tower. But the dragon sits on top of the tower. Again, if you haven't watched season one, you should go back and watch it for sure. But, uh, yeah, so it, the dragon's up there and you can't get to him. And there's a, there's a village kind of around the, the dragon. It's like a dragon village. It's got, they got like a statue of the dragon and stuff. It's almost, it's almost like they worship it or something. So, anyway, uh, yeah, the dragon sits up there and there's a village there. And that village is a great place to get to. Uh, now there's a campfire that I specifically, I could walk from the campfire inland right to the village with my eyes closed. Um, no problem. But I need to find the campfire, and I'm not quite sure where it is. Um, I mean, I guess I could start at a different spot, but I really want to get into the village. There's a couple nice things about the village. First of all, it's got a forge. You're going to need to make some uh, higher-end items. 
Uh, number two, there's loot up there. And number three, the most important thing, there's skeletons up there. And skeletons drop skeleton skulls, and you're going to need skeleton skulls to make, your, to make a little totem that will act as your spawn point. So I'm going to find this, uh, I'm going to find this campfire one way or another. It might take me a while, but you guys won't have to sit through it. Uh, but I am damn well going to find this freaking thing because I really want to be able to get to that village. Okay, I've just started over the game for the third time and uh, here's the campfire. So this island is really big and I think it has multiple like different kinds of shores that don't connect. Uh, I saw a map of it. It looked pretty freaking crazy. But this is where I want to be. This is my uh, this is going to be my home for a while. So let's uh let's come on over here. This just needs flint and three logs to get started. That's awesome. And we got some cloth strips and a hammer. Nice little start, nice little start. And we got some some tree nuts. Very good, so we're off to a really good start now. Uh, so let's go ahead and drop this stuff on the ground. We are not going to need to take with us. Uh, we need that, we will need that. We won't need these, or this, or this, or this. Okay, so let's, let's head in. Now if you keep going this way, it'll go right to the village. And I think we'll head towards the village. Uh, my first order of business is to go going to be to kill deer, wolves, and skeletons. Um, in whatever order they come at me. So, let's head on up here. See what we can see. I'd like to kill some deer first. Uh, I thought they were going to be adding the bow in this update, but I, I apparently not. So, that's pretty interesting. It's, it's an awesome update anyway, with or without the bow. Um, it just would have been nice to have the bow as well. Thought I heard something over here. You gotta listen for the deer. The game sounds. This game sounds pretty good, uh, as far as like the le the level of sound. So I think I'm gonna keep it where it is. I'll have to listen to these videos back and see. Maybe I'll up the sound of the game a little bit. That's deer over there. Yep, they're there. These are the female deer. Let's get them. Get him. They used to take five hits to kill. Now I think, I'm hoping they take four. And we got a wolf on us as well. I don't think dodging in does anything to help you fight the wolves. But I don't really care. I'm going to do it anyway. Alright. That was good. That was good. Okay. Very good. We got some sinews, some pelts, and some meat. That's very nice. And now that we took some hit point damage, we can uh, go ahead and eat some apples. Now, I'm of the opinion here. Now, listen to this. Uh, one of the major ways you're going to be getting your hit points back is by eating. But you also have a food meter. So I kind of feel like if you're using the food meter without healing, you're losing out. Um, you know, because okay, you only have, you're only going to have a certain amount of food. Okay, you're going to need that food to heal. So you basically want to wait until you need to take... Uh, you want to wait until it's going to heal you in order for you to, to use the food. Because with a finite amount of food... I mean, there's no finite. I mean, the animals do respawn in this game. But even so, it's still kind of finite. Um, because you're only going to have so much food. So if basically what I'm trying to say is if you eat food and you're not healing yourself, I feel like you're, you're wasting your time or your items... Got him. A lot of deer meat. It's very good. It's a very good start. Let's see if we got some skeletons. This is the village, by the way, the dragon village I was telling you about. We're gonna look around. See if there's anything to loot. What we're really looking for is some skeletons to kill. Go inside. Nothing in here. Maybe a boar tusk. A boar tusk would be good. We actually need need those for one of the bags we can make. Hmm. I wonder if they made stuff drop in here less because there used to be a lot more stuff in here. Oh, there's some food. There's another deer. Leave that deer alone for now. Wow. There's nothing in the houses. There's usually stuff in these houses. I'm surprised I'm not seeing any skeletons either.
Wow. Well, nothing in the house. The only thing that was here was that food. That is very, very rare. Oh, here we go. Here's something. Pile of skulls. Okay. I kind of want to go look for some skeletons. Let's check these cages for boar tusks. Sometimes you can find boar tusks in these cages. Hey, look at this. Why can't I take those? Oh crap, a boar. I don't know how much damage a boar does. I don't want to mess with them. I don't have a spawn point for this game. I do not want to mess with that boar. If you die, your your corpse goes away after I think... Someone told me like 15 minutes. I kind of wish the corpse would never go away. Like, give me some time to find it. Because if you die, you lose like everything. Everything drops. And if you don't get back to your corpse in that certain amount of time, however long it is. Um, yeah, everything's gone. And that is just a damn shame. Alright. I'm looking for some skeletons. Maybe we could find some up here. Skeletons. Oh, skellies. Where are you, skellies? Let me see how much room I have. Oh, God, I don't have any room for anything. Um, well, you know what? There's no point in going after skellies if you don't have room for anything. Let's head back. That's all right. That's all right. That was a, that was a good run. That was a good run. We got a backup axe. Um, we got a little bit more food. And we killed a bunch of deer. And actually a wolf. That's pr it's pretty good. It's pretty good. First thing we want to make is some bags. Um, sinew is the item of choice in this game. At least it was before. I don't know if they've done anything different to the game. We could probably kill this guy. Because stuff stacks. So. The deer sound a little bit like wolves. So like a lot of times the deer make... Like whenever I'm hunting a deer, I think I hear a wolf. I see you. Now they sound like cows. That's definitely a wolf. Oh, I'm bleeding. That's what we made the bandages for. Cool. Let's go ahead and eat. Eat again. Loot up. Oh, thank God. Precious, precious sinew. I'm telling you, that sinew is a godsend. Okay. I really want to kill that deer again. Do I have room for the deer? Nope, deer meat does not stack. Uh, more than five, but we got a spot right here. And the leather, yeah, we can kill that deer. Everything, we can pick everything off him. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you, deer. You thought you lost me? You didn't lose me. Yeah. They call me KJ48, the deer slayer. Oh, leather hide only stacks in three. We absolutely cannot leave that leather hide behind. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and eat these apples. Not a total waste. And grab the... Yeah, we can't leave deer pelts behind. It's important. Because you can make deer pelts into sinew. And like I said before, sinew is going to be our lifeblood. Sinew is basically sh uh, rope, you know? And it's used to make everything, pretty much. Crap, which way is my camp? I don't remember. I have a feeling it's this way. No, it's not. It's the other way. Yep, it's the other way. I can't see crap with the freaking snow. I'm eventually going to have to make a torch. I should probably just make a torch. My, um... My coldness meter's down 50%. That's not good, but... It'll be okay. Actually, I'm wondering which way my... Camp is. No, it was this way, I think. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's this way. Hmm...
Wow, I'm really not sure which way my camp is. That sucks. Might be this way. I mean, it doesn't matter. We can always make a torch if we need to. There it is. Okay, it was this way. Yeah, I do get turned around sometimes in this game. There's no doubt about that. Just like every other game. This update's ridiculous, man. I love this update. It makes the game so much... I want to say easier, but I don't want like all the hard, all the tryhards to be like, I don't want this game to be easy. It's supposed to be hard. This makes it fun. And yeah, I mean, it, it is a challenge, even now. Um, but it's not... Like annoying you know what i mean like there's hard and then there's just ridiculous like i don't know i think it's fine where oh this is not my camp this is a new camp okay well my camp is definitely the other way then crap all right let's go ahead and make a torch because we're not going to make it back anyway um oh we don't have the stuff to make a torch let's go now we're in a hurry shoot i could always stay at that camp and light that fire but, um, I kind of want to get back to my original camp. Oh, man. This is rough. And this video is going to be over soon. Normally, I would just cut the video right now. But, I mean, this is a mad dash, you know? This is a mad dash. Jeez. Problem is, I don't have anything to talk about now on the way back. Well, anyway, um, yeah, the, the, the devs, I mean, the devs in this game seem like they're very active. Uh, I really appreciate that. And, uh, you know, it seems like they're taking it seriously. A lot of these games that do well, I kind of feel like they just, like, pop up out of nowhere and the devs are a little bit surprised. And I'm sure that happens a lot with these games. And it's the devs that, that when they see their game starting to, you know, starting to be popular, you know, they, they put their head down, they charge ahead, and they just, you know, go that extra mile. Just to make the game all the better. And uh, those are the games that, you know, that are going to make it. And the devs that, like, you know, see they're getting popular, like, eh, whatever. We'll just keep doing what we're doing. It's awesome. No, you can't keep doing what you're doing, devs. you got to step it up because uh, you got a real chance here to make something special. It's awesome. And uh, one thing I would like to see in this game, what would I like to see in this game? I'd like to see skills, um, levels, skill systems. Some kind of transport, maybe a horse or something. There's my base. Uh, what else? What else? What else? And just the, uh, just you know, keep making the game because like it seems like at this point a lot of the a lot of the decisions in this game just make themselves, you know. So really excited, and uh, I'm gonna call this one here. That is going to be it for episode one. We'll see you next time for episode two. Till then, take it easy.